If you guys have headphones in, make sure you guys turn down the volume. Welcome in. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this quick. I have a message for you guys just going into everything that's been going on spiritually and astrologically and you guys are seeing that many plans are failing but you've had to stay on top of all of these plans oh hold on let me you guys are let me turn this down okay so people's plans are going up in smoke Okay, and people are getting really frustrated and you are having to stay on top of things that people are sending your way. And I'm getting that you guys are walking on sunshine. You cannot be stopped. This message is going to be super specific. Okay, this is for earth angels, those that feel that they are chosen and those that feel like they are anointed. So you will know if this message is for you. When I go through the download, I'm going to go through it first. There are many plans that failed. And you guys are really grateful right now for money that you have coming in, resources that you have coming in. And you guys are slaying every task that is in front of you like a boss. And your light is being enhanced. As your light is being enhanced, you're going to be seeing some very demonic things coming out of your peers and even maybe some of your loved ones and it could be a little bit frustrating but i'm seeing that you guys are still through any obstacles through any hiccups you are floating on by and to these people it looks like you're walking on sunshine now internally you guys could be feeling like oh this is so frustrating i'm so tired of everything that's happening when's it gonna stop but and I'm seeing that you are going to be realizing divine timing. You're going to have a different perception on divine timing. And you're going to be so grateful for that perception. You're going to be in an echo chamber of gratitude, of merriment, that things could be way worse. Because when shit is really hitting the fan, you're going to be grateful. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I got enough to cover the bills. I'm so glad that if my car breaks down, like I've got enough to like, cover the bill like things like that you know that you have the resources for when things go awry you know that they're going to because people are attacking you left and right and just when you think they're going to let up they go in again and you guys are really showing people you're on the pain no mind list I don't know what you thought this was but I am not even giving you the time of day and people are really going to be thirsting for that Okay, they're really going to be thirsting for the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one combative argument. They want to prove that they have been victimized by you. I tell you guys this all the time. They want to prove that they have been victimized. So you guys got people super frustrated. A, at your gifts, your abilities, your anointing, your calling, you being chosen, you being an undercover earth angel and an undercover, your undercover royalty. Because you're not trying to tell anybody. Okay, you're not really trying to tell anybody that you're royal, but people feel like, oh my gosh, they're so smug. They're so arrogant. They walk around like they're royal. What the frick? And this is because of all that you've been through. And this could also have to do with past lives, you being royal or your divine lineage. So what I'm getting for you guys is you are going to understand another level of divine timing. Your gifts are being enhanced. Everything around you is being elevated. As that's happening, there is some drama and demonic entities being released. People really like going through the ceiling, losing their mind. People trying to stare a hole through you, okay? And it's going to be a little bit frustrating but I'm seeing that you guys are going to be handling it like a boss. You are literally like a video game. Just like chopping it, juking, jiving, bopping. You're walking unbothered. Okay, there could be like 50 things that could happen to you in one afternoon. And you're going to be like, <laughs> I got this. I got this handled. So 
your perception is elevating and you guys will be feeling very euphoric. Okay, this is going to be a surprise to you. I feel like this feeling of euphoric comes from the gratitude that you have for your resources because you guys have gotten it out of the mud. You have gotten it out of the gutter. You've gotten it out of the trap. There's so many things that you've come out of, especially despair, that not only are you going to be feeling euphoric, you're going to be feeling extremely grounded. As soon as you start feeling like, woo, like really like flighty, you're going to be outside on the earth praying, getting grounded, and this is what makes you more than the triple threat. This is what makes you a direct threat to the people around you. People are seeing that not only are you undercover, you are royalty, you got things in, up your sleeve, things in the mix, things cooking, and people see you going through this major breakthrough. And they want to either be a part of it or they want to tear it down. And they want you guys to understand that you are a prodigy. People are going to try to mock and mimic you at this time that you are not the original copy, that you are not the original gangster of anything that you do. Uh, people are going to try to do several different things to attack your self-esteem, to attack your confidence. And you are showing that you are a creative genius, you are anointed, you are chosen, you are royal, and you are a prodigy. There were people that couldn't get one over on you. They're continuously trying. Only a couple of these people have really like let that bone go because people's uh, shadows are going to be coming to the forefront. These people tried to test you. They tried to mom. They tried to mock you, and your they're now realizing that you're an undercover something that they can't touch. So it could be undercover fill in the blank. They they know that whatever your title is, that it is undercover, it is under wraps, it cannot be touched, it cannot be penetrated. They can't really do what they want to do with it. And so they're really going to try to get you up out of your seat, up off of your throne. Okay, so I haven't pulled anything for the pre-pull, but I did write down some affirmations for you guys because I feel like now that you are feeling really resourceful, okay, and remember to pray and ask if this message is in fact yours, but now that you are feeling extremely resourceful and just plentiful, like you got food in the fridge or you have food in your belly or you got a roof over your head. You just feel this sense of stability and safety that no matter what happens, you're going to be safe. Even through frustration, even through obstacles, even through hiccups, you have a different perception. You're going through an elevation in your perception of divine timing and how you look at your gifts and how you look at your life. So you can cancel, rebuke, and denounce any witchcraft in the name of whoever, like me specifically, I do it in the name of Jesus. Okay, so what I would do is say, I denounce, I rebuke, I cancel any witchcraft, any attacks, any attempts being sent my way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Or I would say, um, I cancel my name on any altars in the mighty name of Jesus. I send the fire of the Holy Ghost upon anyone trying to attack me. <laughs> Amen. And you guys can also do the same. And you're just going to be on top of this. Staying prayed up and staying strapped. Staying prayed up and staying strapped. If you are always ready, you don't have to get ready. You don't have to scramble because you already know what's going on, bestie. You already know what time it is. So if you are new here. I am your motivational speaker. I'm your bestie on the internet. I am your favorite YouTuber. I am your spiritual advisor. I'm your favorite reindeer, your fairy godmother. I'm all of those things. So grab whatever you be smoking on. Grab whatever you be sipping on. Grab whatever you be snacking on because this ain't going to be very long. And I have a very little bit a very little bit of time to go in because I'm working really long shifts today, tomorrow, and the next day. And I don't, I'm really jamming it in today. <laughs> Hi guys, hi Nina, hi Aaron, hi Shania, hi Dims, hi David, hi Victoria, hi Truth, hi Tracy, hi Little Dog, hi Good Intentions, hi Color Vortex. Color Vortex is A1 Day 1, and hi Fire Brace, hi Sunshine.
You guys are the best. Hi, Tay. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Bull Gang. Okay. I am walking on sunshine. Your affirmations. I am in an echo chamber of merriment. Because as you guys are, you know, staying prayed up and rebuking, denouncing, and canceling, you are also staying up on the gratitude and realizing, okay, well, all of this came to fruition because I prayed and because I kept affirming, because I shifted my subconscious, because I kept believing. And so now that it's a reality, I still got to do more work. Okay, you guys have done an incredible amount of healing. I'm so proud of you guys. And you're really going to see people coming out of their skin. You're, you're really going to be seeing this. And it's going to be a lot. A lot. So take your time through things that you are doing. Like, I just got done bartending. Normally, I would, like, try to hop on, like, right after. And I was like, I need a nap. I literally, I have to take a nap because I, I need to get this message out. But at the same time, I'm like, I need to slow my roll. So you guys are going to be realizing you don't have to rush anywhere. Everything's going to kind of come to you because of this divine timing, this divine order. And you just knowing that everything is perfectly orchestrated in your favor. So affirm it below. Everything is perfectly orchestrated in my favor. Duh. Obviously, I am so grateful to God wrapping, or I'm so grateful to God for wrapping me in love, wrapping me in protection, wrapping me in favor. Money and resources love me, and I know just what to do with it. So these are your guys' affirmations. I am in an echo chamber of merriment. I am walking on sunshine. I am so grateful to God for wrapping me in love, favor, protection. Money and resources love me, and I know just what to do with them. You guys are understanding the flow of your prayer, the flow of your words, the flow of your affirmations. And maybe because you've been having to amp up so much protection, you haven't been affirming as much or coming up with new affirmations or coming up with new manifestations, or maybe you stopped journaling or maybe you stopped uh, making vision boards or whatever it is or maybe you put it on the back burner because you've been having to really amp up your protection and be on the front lines of oh I do not fucking think so <clears throat> not today Becky not today Bobby not today state Satan not today Steven I cannot all right Welcome to your first live. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Dropping cards. What did I drop? The Phoenix. The Phoenix Rising is what dropped. You guys are not going to be crying over spilled milk. You guys could be a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. If you guys are, you will definitely resonate with this message, whether that's sidereal or tropical, because you guys are my daydreamers, okay? You guys are really good at visualizing. Uh, you might even have ADHD or ADD. And you guys are daydreamers, and this is actually how you've manifested things since a small child, okay? And what you're learning to do right now is to not sweat your past as much because it molded you into the person you have become now. To not um, always revisit the past or be triggered by the past or repeat the past to others, Yes, I like that, Miss Sunshine. We've been in a succession for a long time. I love that. We've been in succession for a long time. Like, we've been waiting our turn, waiting our turn, waiting in the line of succession. These people know that you are undercover. They're like, they're undercover something. I don't know what they are, but I'm going to figure out what that is. They can tell. 
that you are undercover royalty. They can tell that you're an undercover earth angel. They just don't know how to prove it. They don't have no receipts. They don't, nobody's going to believe them because everyone just knows the bottom line speaks the loudest that you are just special. <laughs> everyone around you got that memo. Okay, I don't care what they say. I don't care what the Decepticons to the left say. They got that memo that you are the bee's knees. They got that memo that you are special, that you are powerful, and that you don't really Fs with other people like that. You kind of do things to the beat of your own drum. Though you would like to have friends, you don't have many. Or you're not trusting of people. Okay? People are always trying to, like, get information out of you, and you're like... <laughs> It's time, you guys, it's time for things to unfold smoothly. You might be saying, no, it can't happen. It can't happen. And a Mercury do, do, do can't happen with the eclipse. No, 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 no. Yes, it can. And it will. I'm telling you guys, I have been getting this download for the last six days. You guys are going to have so much divine timing moving in your favor. You are going to be blown away. Okay. Because you're going to be ahead of of the bullshit. You're going to be ahead of the attacks. So anyone trying to like send anything your way, you're already going to be 10 steps in front of it. Some of you guys 19 steps in front of it. Because you know what they they're up to. And some of you guys can see things in spirit. You guys are getting visions, you guys are getting downloads, so you'll get a download like take the car into the shop. And you're going to be ahead of this retrograde. Some of you guys are getting a download, like, go get the windshield wipers checked. Go get these replaced. Check the oil. Okay. Something's telling you to check the internet or check the electric box or do you know what I mean? Like, you listen to those inklings because divine timing is in your favor. And you are going to see this unfold and it's going to be so magical to you. My daydreamers. My light workers. Okay. Declaration. It is time for not only things to unfold smoothly for you, like this is your past, being disappointed, being let down. Now you know what to expect from certain people and it is finally time for everything that you're doing to in fact unfold smoothly. So this is your declaration. This is really powerful for whoever I'm speaking to. You are really looking for different ways in your life to declare the life that you deserve. The gifts that you deserve, the blessings that you deserve. You are looking for ways to reclaim your power in the most powerful way while also showing your gratitude and your glory to God. You are stepping into your sovereignty. My creative geniuses, you guys are a prodigy, have always been. And people cannot shake up this contract. They're going to try to protest it. They're going to try to say, mm, you're a fake, you're a fraud, you're copying, blah, 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 blah. I literally had somebody, a troll from a fake account, okay, saying, and you might be wondering, how do you know if it's a fake account? It's an account that's been blocked or an account that's always making accounts that has been made like within the same month, within the same week, or even a couple of hours ago. Okay, every account will say when it was made. Every account will say when it was made. So I did, I don't even remember what reading it was. I think it was the, the reading where I was dressed like kind of country and I was literally still in my work clothes and somebody was blowing up the chat not blowing up the chat, but blowing up the comments saying, you're trying to look like Anita. Da, 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 da. Like, yeah, Anita is my role model and I look up to her. But I don't feel like in that way I emulate her because A, I work at a country bar. I have like 50 Budweiser shirts and course banquet. I have a lot of rodeo stuff, a lot of cowboy boots, buckles, denim, bell bottoms. It always looks like I'm going to country thunder. And when it doesn't look like I'm going to country thunder, I'm in sweats or I'm comfortable. So it was just obviously somebody that's not familiar with me, not familiar with my content. And it's like, why, why do you think I would give you the time of day? Block, delete, repeat. Why do you think that I would give you the time of day? Just to give you guys an example of people that are going to try to mock you while you are reclaiming your power, that are going to try to mimic you or 
discourage you from believing in yourself. Okay. And while you guys are going through this glow up, this elevation, people are going to try to tell you that you're doing it wrong. Well, guess what? Nobody asked them. You can't ask somebody from a fake account. Thank you, Blaze, for your donation. You can't ask somebody from a fake account. Well, how would they do it? Riddle me what? Fake account. How would you? How would you do it? If this was your platform, please tell me. Oh, wait, you can't because your picture's fake. Your account is fake. And you're hiding. You're hiding. So, you know, I get asked all the time. You guys, like, that person saying that doesn't even bother me. Because I get asked all the time, like, when I go outside. I'm at the grocery store. I'm pumping gas. And it looks like I'm going to Country Thunder. Like, it looks like I'm going somewhere. And people are like, oh my gosh, where are you going dressed like that? None of your freaking business places. Where are you going places? None of your business. People are so nosy. So nosy. And yeah, I think it's just crazy. Like you think because we're wearing the same shirt, we're trying to be twins. Everybody at my work has the same shirt. We all buy the same Budweiser shirts. We all buy the same banquet shirts. Thank you, Mimi Unfiltered. Thank you for your donation. We all buy the same, like, once we all find a cute alcohol t-shirt, we're like, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? And then we all buy the same one. We're all twins at work. So the twinning is happening, but it ain't happening over here. And it's just laughable. Like, anybody that knows my content knows how I dress, knows how I act, knows what I wear. And I don't really have to explain that I'm not trying to mimic somebody. But it's okay to be inspired by people. You know what I mean? Yeah, being told that you're wrong when they're not even on your level. Thank you, Miss Sunshine. Yeah, it's laughable. It's like you're not even familiar with my content. If you think I'm doing something brand new, they were like, you're like a sponge. You don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. No, motherfucker. I don't know who you are. Okay? I don't know who you are because you got a fake picture. Your account was made in January of this year. And just stop. Take several seats. Literally. Take several seats because I don't care. I don't care. First of all, I'm older than Anita. And I've been dressing the same way for forever because to me, it's timeless. I like wearing high-waisted shorts and like body suits and cowboy boots. I love boots. I literally have a whole bedroom of just boots and shoes and chucks. It's like, you don't know shit. Sit down. Please sit down. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to literally like hurt yourself. So this is the type of stuff that you guys are going to be dealing with. So I don't say it to be like, oh my gosh, my feelings are hurt. I say this to give you guys an example of what's going on. This is how I channel a lot of the downloads that I get for you is through signs, synchronicities, omens, and people attacking me. Where do you think this shit be coming off of? Like, where do you think I get this stuff from? It'd be happening to me half the time. Or it's happening around me. Or I'm given a message and I'm like, is that for me or is that for the collective? Then I have to pray about it. Journal. And get confirmation if it's for me or for you guys. Like, people think that you are, like, pulling rabbits out of hats. You know what I mean? So, before I met my husband, like, I lost everything. And I lost all my clothes. I lost all my shoes. And, like, I really didn't have much. I literally had, like, a couple things to wear. Because uh, when I left my other ex that was really abusive, I just left with my keys in my hand in the middle of the night. I didn't have time to grab my cute clothes. I didn't have time to grab anything. I was just like, it's me and my safety and I got to get the frick out of here. So I've had to rebuild that over time. And I love going to like thrift shops and seeing like, so I've accumulated a lot of different things from thrifting. And I'm proud of that. 
nonsense. And somebody's like trying to tell me that my swagger or my style is not mine. It is just laughable because it's always been mine, always going to be. No matter how many times I start over, I like things that are timeless to me. I like trucker hats. I like hats in general, beanies and lashes. I've always been a lash girl. Pink lipstick. Always been like people are just dumb. So don't don't even give it the time of day. Okay, whoever is trying to make you feel less than, they can see that things are unfolding smoothly for you and that all of this other pain, you've left it in the rear view. Can't none of y'all mirror me back. Yes, God is great. Can't none of y'all mirror me back. That is what you are emanating to the people that are trying to give you an issue or give you a problem or trying to mock you. You are showing them, I don't sweat the small stuff. I am healed. You can't activate me if you had a mat. No, you cannot. And you guys are, you guys have this look on your face of euphoria. But you're also grounded in reality. And this is what makes you very alluring and intoxicating to be around. People find you very attractive, very exotic in mind, body, and soul. People can tell you're undercover amazing. And people that actually get the honor of even getting to know you properly as if, you know, you letting them in. They love peeling back the layers and learning new things about you because you are truly a gem. You are truly the gem on the street. You truly are the diamond in the rough. So it's just... So I'm telling you guys, people are going to try to attack you while giving you something. That is going to be a very big theme. This is the second time. Okay, this is the second time somebody's tried to come in and say, here, here's a gift for you. Now let me insult you. Now take your shit back. Take it back. Reel it all the way back. No. People are going to try to act like they're doing something for you. And this is why you guys are very protective of your energy. People are going to try to act like they're doing you a big favor. Like they have invested in you. They have contributed to you. Here's your tribute. Now let me insult you. Here's your tribute. Now let me treat you any which way. They definitely have the wrong one. They definitely have the wrong one. You guys are a heroic messenger and these people do not need to understand your contract. You have people frustrated because you are unbothered. You know why you have this ring of fire around you. You know why you stay prayed up. It's time for things to unfold smoothly and you guys are not giving these people the time of day. You only allow strong partnerships. You're not just letting any old body in. Like, you got to go through many auditions, several interviews, several sit-downs before they are going to be allowed in your circle of trust. So them thinking like, no, I got you a coffee and now I can treat you however. No, I did this favor for you over here. So I can treat, no, 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 no. That ain't never going to happen. Take your shit back and get to get in. Take that shit down the street. And, and these people are trying to judge you and they don't realize that they are being judged. I think it's funny when people get on here on anybody's platform and try to tell somebody how to be spiritual or they try to tell somebody how to love God, how to praise God. This wouldn't be the platform to do that. You, you know what I mean? This would not be the platform to do that because everyone here 
has their own core values, their own beliefs, and this isn't the live chat where you can judge my subscribers or me. It's not happening. So block, delete, repeat. You guys are entering into agreements, contracts, unions, bonds that are strong partnerships only. Like bad bitches link up, bad bitches only. Strong partnerships only. People that are insecure, they ain't going to make the cut. People that are pump faking it, fake flexing, weird flexing, they're not going to make the cut. They are not going to make the cut. People are inspecting you, okay? They um, are trying to figure out what your baggage is. They're trying to figure out how to press their buttons. You're not going to give them a guide, okay, at step one, two, three on how to disarm you. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. People are really trying to read between the lines because they can't get much from you. You are very intuitive. You are ahead of it. You guys get inklings, feelings, intuitive hunches, and you listen. Yes, they are so misguided, unfortunately. People are trying to knock you off your game. They're trying to knock you off your confidence because they see that you are resourceful. And so they want to discredit that. Oh, you must have been worshiping the devil to get that, those resources. Like you cheated and like you're corrupt. You're not going to stand for that. And neither is God. Okay. You guys have worked really hard for your independence. And you've worked on your self-esteem. You've done a lot of healing to work on your confidence. You guys have some happy news coming in. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be on repeat. So let me explain. I feel like you guys are going to go through a hiccup, handle it like a boss, get happy news. You're going to go through a hiccup, handle it like a boss, be grateful that you handled it before it could have gotten really out of hand, and then you're going to be given good news. So I feel like it's like sit, like us sitting and then getting a treat. It's just going to be you just handling things so effortlessly and not getting too wrapped up in the why of how, like, you know, the, the who, the what, and the why, not being so overly analytical of why this is happening. This is going to be a period of time where you get to enjoy your spirituality a little bit more than maybe you normally get to, despite the attacks that you're dealing with, because you feel like you have the proper tools and resources to handle what is being thrown your way. And you're going to be able to enjoy your creativity more because you're going to be slowing down to do that. Yes, blessings are raining down upon us. Thank you, Manix. We have the full. There is a purge that you guys have been doing. There is a hard reset that you guys have been taking care of to properly land on your feet, to regain the innocence in your life, the adventure in your life, the spontaneity in your life. So you can have more fun and, and live your best life. I'm just seeing that you guys are coming through as the villain. You're coming through as the Joker. You're coming through as royalty. It is finally time for your ships to come in, your blessings to come in. So yes, like you guys said, blessings raining down upon us. Like you can see that this person's been to battle or time or five, okay? They're like, damn, I'm freaking... Been on this island, waiting for this succession, waiting for these blessings. Oh my gosh, like, oh, it's finally, it's finally here. It is finally here. You have arrived. You have arrived. I'm seeing that you guys are going to be looking at, this is why the people that come for you will never understand you. You will make a game out of what is chaotic. You will make an adventure out of what is unbearable. 
I'm going to say that again. You will make an adventure out of what is unbearable. And you will make a game out of the things that are being thrown your way. The opposition. You guys have foresight, opportunity, and success coming in. The sun is, is not too far away. And that is exactly what you're about to be walk, walking on. Ain't no one going to be able to dim that. You guys are coming out of a lot of, of confusion where you didn't have clarity about your position in this world or in life or in your narrative. Ace of Cups. You guys are going to be feeling very creative. You guys are going to be feel, feeling really fulfilled. So this is big confirmation that you guys feel like you're getting a fresh start. You're getting this elevation. Things are finally unfolding smoothly. You're reclaiming your power. You have healed from the mistakes that you've made, the people that you regret letting in. You are letting go of this guilt. You are letting go of this regret. You are standing firm in your inner strength, your, your bravery, your compassion. So I'm getting people are really curious about you right now, bestie. People are really curious about like what you're about. And that's why I put undercover. Okay. They don't understand. They want to, they want to understand your relationships. They want to understand your conviction. They want to understand your love for God, your love for the universe, your spirituality. Also, they can break it down. And you guys are the owl. You have a lot of wisdom and you know better. They will never understand why you're so far ahead of them. They'll never, they'll never understand it, unfortunately. So you guys are moving fearlessly. Spiritual narcolepsy. You guys are no longer asleep. You're no longer sleeping on yourself, and people are no longer sleeping on your gifts. People can see, like, there's something special. They are a star. They are the light. They emanate. I I'll pull it this way obstacles see the wall you guys make this a game you make it an adventure you're ready thank you fitness guru so you're going to be feeling euphoric but you're going to be feeling grounded and people are just going to be shook wow we have the unicorn and we have patience and we have opportunity and we have the phoenix hard times are over your elevation is showing you, dang, divine timing really be working in my favor. God's favor is all over my life. All over my life. I got opportunities. I'm going from the caterpillar to the butterfly. I'm going from the pit to the palace. Patience. You are slowing down to change your attitude because you are seeing how much further that gets you. Success, hope, and freedom and healing are magic is all around you and available to you anytime you reach for it. All of these things, this is what I love about your guys' message. You guys are realizing how accessible these things are. You're like, well, if I need it, I'll just ask. If I need it, I'll just reach. I'll just get, I'll just grab, I'll just ask. Because it's mine. It has already been written. It is yours. New beginnings. These, this new beginnings about your elevation and how you perceive yourself. How you perceive yourself is changing and others have to fall in line. Or they will not really be acknowledged, okay? They will not be acknowledged. Yes, child's play. Absolutely. Soft girl season, here I come. I love this. You guys could watch Game of Thrones, House of Dragons. There were people that wanted to steal your you being the heir. You are the heir to this throne. And as you are undercover royalty, we have the crowned games, right use of power. People thought like, oh, I can steal that crown. They didn't want you in the line of succession. They wanted to discredit that. Thank you, uh, Sabir. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you guys for your donations. They thought, I can, I could do that better. That's not hard. 
People wanted to fuck around, now they're going to find out. They wanted to fuck around, and now they're going to find out. Like, oh, that probably wasn't a good idea. That probably was not a good idea. Trying to question your legitimacy. They're, bas they ba they're basically questioning God, saying, they're not legitimate for this crown. Okay, you guys have seen House of Dragons. And we know, like, her first two boys are obviously Harwin Strong's. But she's not trying to fight for their legitimacy or their what they're supposed to inherit because she cares about money. Okay, you guys have the right use of power. She's there claiming their legitimacy because she cares about them being legitimate. Not about, oh, I need to have this castle and be, you know, in charge of all of this. She cared about them having this legitimacy. And that is what you guys are showing people. You will be all the way up because you are not here to abuse any power. You are not here for that. And everyone around you, given the chance, would run a freaking muck. They would run a muck. But for real, okay? They wouldn't even know what to do with it. No one can stop you. No one can stop you. People are going to try to act like they have receipts. They're going to try to act like they're doubtful of you. You don't care. They're like, um, I'm going to need proof that you are royal. I didn't. Who are you? Who are you? People are going to be like, I need answers. I'm not believing what I'm being told. People are peeping what you're doing. So the demons are, are running amok. Okay, the circus is coming to town because your independence, your sovereignty is radiating off of your body. Thank you, Vanessa. Plan B. All right, you guys. Your haters are moving on to plan B. Plan A failed horribly, miserably. Time to move to plan B. This will also fail. Plan B will also fail. They're like, oh, just in case, I'm going to try this too. Oh, this is my backup strategy. This is how they see you. Living your life, cutting up. They're like, nah, they're mischievous. They're corrupt. They're this, they're that. Trying to make you look like a fraud. Okay? Because you are funny and you cannot be canceled. You are royal and you cannot be canceled. You cannot be be canceled. No one can stop you. Access denied. God is going to deny access. All you got to do is pray. All you got to do is ask. People want to boycott you. They want you to be rejected. They don't understand how you got this title, how you got this crown, how you got this inheritance. And they just keep getting confirmation that you are incredibly blessed. That you are gaining popularity. You are gaining momentum. Your authenticity, your transparency, your light is inspirational. And these people are not tamed. They're not home trained. They're for the streets. You guys are going to be... Realizing that word has been getting around very quickly that that you are someone powerful, that you are somebody incredible. You guys are going to have a lot of luck on your side during this season and, and what better news than that during this these transits. You guys are going to be getting incredible news over and over and over again because you didn't want it, you've been given power. You've been given tools. You've been given blessings. You have not abused them. You have not started like cutting up and acting crazy and acting bold and acting better than. You are incredibly grateful for these blessings and the obstacles that brought them.
yes, a lot of you guys have neighbors that are doing many things. And if it's not your neighbors, it is your, you guys have neighbors and coworkers and family members. Okay. People are going to be blowing up your phone, blowing up your notifications, blowing up your comments because they know that you are undercover. So they know that as you being someone undercover, you're always doing things that are important. So they want to figure out ways to distract you from your purpose, from your title, from your calling. And that's very, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to work. You guys take your, your calling very, very serious. You guys could be millennials. You guys have been through a lot. You know where you have lacked. You know where you have struggled. You know where you've been imprisoned. And now it is the season for you to be like, I feel loved. I feel good. I feel grateful. You know what I mean? And so I'm excited for you guys. Many plans have failed. Your light is about to be enhanced. And through obstacles, any obstacles, through any hiccups, you will float on by. You will float on by because you are walking on sunshine. You are understanding divine timing and you feel so grateful because your perception on this is elevating. You're like, yeah, it's going to suck to go through that, but I know I'm going to be blessed when that is over. Okay, hold on, guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that was on. So you guys are elevating and handling things like a video game, like an adventure, and you are feeling really euphoric about it because you remember the times where you couldn't take care of the obstacle. You couldn't get food on the table. You remember when you couldn't put gas in the car or when you didn't have a car or when you didn't have a roof or when you didn't have a dollar. You remember all of that. You're not forgetting it. You don't have to explain it to them. Not never. You do not have to explain it to them. You will be feeling euphoric yet grounded. You have done the work to heal. And this major breakthrough is showing that you are a prodigy, that you are royalty, that you are an earth angel, that you are a creative genius, that you are anointed, that you are chosen. And they cannot penetrate that. They cannot take your title. They cannot take your crown. But damn it, will they try. Okay, they will try. These people, they couldn't get one over on you. Their plans are constantly failing. Okay, you guys have neighbors that are staring at you. You guys get a lot of attention in your neighborhood. Okay, I feel like that's going to be for 80% of you. You guys get a lot. I mean, when you are on the block, my gems... Everyone is looking. They're trying to act like they're not looking. They're looking through fences. They're looking through blinds. They're listening through walls. They're walking in circles in their yard. Like, got to see what they're doing. You're just like getting groceries. You're just checking the mail. But you guys have everyone's attention. You guys have everyone's attention. And the joke is going to be on them. You are not going to turn up on them. And this is what they really want. Like, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Not today. You know that that is a slippery slope. Because it. I'm telling you guys, all the demons are on plan B right about now. Plan A failed miserably. And if you get on that wave, you know that it is a slippery slope. You're like, that's about to be a bad chain of events. I don't want no part of that. Okay, so your guys' affirmations, again, is you can cancel, rebuke, denounce any witchcraft in the name of Jesus or whoever it is that you pray to. Other affirmations, I am in an echo chamber of merriment. I am walking on sunshine. I am so grateful for, the, for God wrapping me in this love, wrapping me in this favor, wrapping me in this protection. Money and resources love me, and I know just what to do with it. Well played, bestie. 
you are going to be the winner in the end. All of this ish will have been well worth it. It will have, it will be well worth it. Let them gossip. Let them mock. Let them mimic. Let them kiki in the corner. Let them go to Bobby's cubicle and talk shit. We don't care. We're used to it. We know they're with the shits. We know all these people are with the shits. They got the green light on bullshit. All the time. 24-7. <laughs> okay. Pity party. Do not fall for the pity party. The tears of grief. The sabotage. I see that like if you guys are getting frustrated, you're going to let out a cry. A timer five. And it's not even going to last long. Because you are going to be frustrated, but you're going to be seeing like, oh, I'm so grateful that I have the resources to take care of these stupid obstacles. And you're going to be like, oh, you're going to be like, OK, it's fine. So your cry time, your pity party time is really being minimized right now. And you are like, I don't want to sabotage this. I've worked too hard. I've come too far to sabotage any of this. As you guys are moving through this next timeline, people are going to be spooked by you. People are going to be spooked by you. Okay? So, I want to get an angel number for you guys. Hold on. Because I'm going to have to end this live stream. Let's get you guys an angel number. Ooh, we got three, four, six. Three, four, six is your guys' angel number. If anyone wants to drop that in the comments below when the live stream ends. And then you guys can affirm, um, you can drop your favorite affirmations. Three, four, six. You guys can drop your favorite affirmations. I look forward to speaking to you guys in the comments. I hope that you got this message just in time. You are on the right track. You haven't been abusing any type of power. You are the phoenix rising. You are the prodigy. You are undercover. And they are going to try to pull this. They're going to try to get you to blow your cover. You don't have to explain anything to them. You don't have to prove anything to them. Not in the slightest. And yes, these people are about to be haunted, spooked, shocked, and nervous. They're, they're beyond frustrated because plan A didn't work. For some of them, they already did plan B. They're going to have to revisit plan A. They got to recruit new, new whoever's for their circus. The clowns are out. The Sesame Street crack magic, your neighbors, your family, they're all watching. So we'll talk more about this this weekend. And then I also have a surprise for you guys. Um, so make sure you guys have your notifications on and just be careful with these people that are trying to pull you up out of your seat. They're going to be trying it every which way from Sunday. Don't fall for it. This is an adventure. This is your time to shine. Don't get um, caught up in the gossip. Try not to get caught up in your feelings. And remember to keep affirming, keep rebuking, keep canceling, keep denouncing. Because they're not going to let up. And if you are ready, you don't got to get ready. Not never. All right, guys? Oh, I love that. Thank you, Shania. Angel number 346 is a powerful reminder to trust the journey and that the universe has your back. Yeah, it's a lot about moving in silence, Vanessa. Yes, it is a lot about moving in silence because everyone, you have so many plans and that is why it's undercover. You have to move in silence. I mean, look at them. They're spooked. They can't let you get, they can't let you win. They also don't have control, but they're really trying it. And so it's really important that the things that you guys are excited for, that you guys keep them close to the chest. And I mean anything and everything, whether it's a relationship, an engagement, a pregnancy, getting a car, getting a new job, getting a promotion. Be really careful of who you say these things around. Not that like, 
we're empowering them, but because people are just, it's just going to be a season where it's really amped up. And for your sanity, for your peace, you don't have to explain it to them. And I really want you guys to focus on enjoying it more and enjoying your new beginning. Trying to explain it or, or defend it with any of them is a slippery slope. They can see that you're winning. They can see that you're royal. So, I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. If you guys are looking for content that is tailored just for you, okay? It is only $11.11 a month for Patreon. It is ad-free. All the pick-a-cards go there. You guys vote, and in which order you need which message. And I think that's it. We also have love messages on there. And yeah, everyone has content. Every platform has content coming out this week. It will be before the first, okay? When is the first? Where's my calendar? Does anybody know when the first is? Is it Monday? It's Monday. Okay, well, got a lot of stuff to get done before Monday. So you guys, make sure you guys have your notifications on. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to smash the you-know-what. Hit the bell, duh. I'm your bestie on the internet, your favorite YouTuber. I'm all the things, and I love you guys so, so much. So, so much. You guys make my, my job in incredible, and I'm so happy to be your spiritual advisor and, and part of your path and a part of your week and a part of your journey. Like, I'm honored. So... I love you guys. I'm sending smooches and hugs and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.